Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube marketing channel. I'm your host, Marlon, and today we're going to do this Camtasia tutorial. And the topic is video editing and Camtasia to the nine. And I've been using this software for more than five to six years now. And um, to be honest with you, it's very user friendly if you're a newbie or new to, I mean, making videos or even YouTube itself then pretty much you can use the software to make your YouTube videos, make your Instagram or even Facebook videos or even videos for anything out there because you may not necessarily want to put it on social media. But just in case you want to make or edit any kind of videos that you want to use for any kind of maybe educational, it could be for school, it could be for your workplace or whatever the um, situation might be, then definitely you can give um, Camtasia um, a try. The pickup price for this software is around 300 US dollars. So just in case you may be curious um, in terms of the price. So like I said, I mean, if you're intermediate or a newbie, trust me, this software is pretty much straightforward. And I've been using, like I said, for all of my channels and for clients and other things which I use it for. So all you have to do, like I said, if you have access to it already, it's, you can just go ahead and um, open it up. And as you can see at the top here, you can see where you have um, everything here. You have the media, you have the annotation, transition behavior which means the behavior of text and stuff like that and animation and the cursor just in case you're making tutorial like i'm making right now you can go ahead and just um, use cursor throughout the whole video and you can do a voice narration just in case you want to do a voice overs so you can go ahead and do your voice over from within the system here so all you would have to do is copy and paste your text within this box here and you can just go ahead and just focus literally and you and the text and you have an awesome voice over and just in case you want to do it for um, all the um, effects, you can go ahead and pretty much do it, um, noise removal. You can level the volume, fade in, fade out, and speed up or down the clip. And just in case you may need to do any sort of um, advanced editing, such as remove colors, or it could uh, just you want to adjust certain colors and stuff like that, you can also do it within Camtasia. So, like I said, it's quite straightforward and. All you have to do first, just in case you want to bring in a piece of um, clip, just in case, you just can go ahead and do, you can see, you can see here, you can do audio, pictures, um, anything you can bring into the bin itself. So for me, I'll just go ahead and grab a piece so you can see exactly how it works. Let's say for, and the good thing, you can drag in multiple tracks on at once. So let's say, for example, this meeting um, video here, I can grab that one. And let's say, for example, this MacBook, I can go ahead and, and choose this uh, as well. And let's say work, these three. All you have to do is um, can, uh, press control and select whatever you want, and then you go to opened. So now it's open within, like I said, uh, the bin here in the media bin. And so this is a media bin. This is where everything that you're going to use uh, for your project would be stationary right here. And then below here, this is where you have the Canva. This is where you're going to go ahead and create your, your literal project work down here. So let's say, for example, when I'm um, putting the meeting first, I would have to do right click to this one and then I add it to the canvas and where you have the 50 percent this is where you can go ahead and you can choose whatever size you want for example down here the project to be the project settings so you go ahead and then this is where you, you can click in this little hour here and then you can go ahead and choose the appropriate size that you guys want so let's say 1080p or 720 or 480 it depends like I said whatever the project you're working on the size so you have to be mindful of the size that you guys are working with so I could just leave it for maybe set um for now. I leave it for seven twenty. You just press apply. So as you can see, it's much bigger than this one. So if I was to go back into this one here and go like ten eighty, as you can see, so it definitely would work for ten eighty because the size you see is pretty much ten eighty. So we can leave it at the maximum, and uh, you can go ahead and add any other tracks here. So this is track one. So let's say, for example, you want to add maybe an intro or an outro. So I already have all of my stuff inside here already, which I use on um, day-to-day -day basis to make my videos. So I can just go ahead and maybe add um, one of my intro. So I could just bring this forward a little bit, and then I can go ahead and... So let's use my main intro for now. So that's my main intro here. And then 
all I would have to do is to drag this close enough. So after the inch has finished um, place, I can just drag this close enough so everything runs smoothly, as you can see now. So let's say you don't want it to approach the video itself abruptly like that. You can go ahead and do a transition in between here. So you can, for example, go to transition and you can see all of, all of these ones here. So you can choose something that you might fancy. So you could do something like this for now. There you go. So it's much more nicer, you know what I mean, for you to do some transition here and there at times. So that's just you bringing in a, uh, a piece of video. So for example, if you want to do something else, for example, let me think. Let's say you want to add maybe a lower third. You can do that. You can add maybe music at the background. While, for example, make sure you keep this in mind. If you're going to do over voiceovers and you're going to have to have somebody talking in the video, make sure that you put your music in the background much lower than the actual voice, which is going to be, you know what I mean, delivering the message into the video. So make sure you keep that low and then obviously the volume up there could be okay. So, because I run a few bad mistakes like that in the past where my volume after music was almost the same as my voice. So it, both was competing for the same thing, which was wrong. So keep in mind that as well. So in this case, like I said, you can have maybe for example, we use this one, which is my subscribe. Pretty much you can have different texts and you can, like I said, um, you can drag this any way around into the actual video. You can add it right here. So you don't necessarily have to add it um, because um, this, it falls right in the middle. You can put it where you want to put it. And you can also resize as well. So there's so much you can do. And just in case you want to maybe add, like I said, the music, because obviously music is um, good for videos. So you can, I already have music here. So just in case you could just go back into your bin here and then you can click back on the plus sign and you can just bring in whatever you want to bring in media um, back into here. So I already have music already. So I can just go ahead from here and pick this one here, right click. And then you can put music pretty much in some part of the video or you can put it in the whole video itself just in case if you want to do that. So I can drag and cut this one to the size that I want. So I could do there. And let me hear it now. So as you can see that everything looking good so far. And um, just in case um, the volume, like I said, you can go ahead and just reduce the volume from here to about, let's say if there's a voiceover taking place, you can leave it between 10 to 12%. So at least you could hear, so at least you could hear the voice of the speaker. So that's one more thing. And just in case you wanna add, like I said, um, any other graphics or Want to add another piece of video? All you have to do is um, position back the cursor here, bring in this piece, and then you can go back again, and then you can add maybe another transition. Could be something like that one. Let's see. So let's see how it looks. Right, so that's looking good as well. And um, just in case, um, the behavior. So let's say you wanna add um, an annotation. It could be anything you wanna ask or mention. You could just add this, for example. Just double click and the A and B C's, and then you can change the text to whatever you want it to be. So all you have to do now is to go over to where the behavior is, and then you can choose 
how you want the text to behave literally. So you can just go ahead and I put shift shift in. And let's see how it works. So that's exactly how it works by shifting. So you can choose whatever else you want to have. It could be um, scale, slide in, you know, jump and fall, whatever you want the text to be, you can do that with that one. And then on the far, on the far right, you can go ahead and choose a few more um, selection here. So you can have the text to be whatever the color could change from red to something else, just in case if you want to prefer something else, you can go ahead and change it like that. Obviously, that's too strong, but just in case you want to change it, you have the possibility to do that. And the speech bubble, you can maybe change it as well to something else, like that one. Or, sorry. Or bring it back to the normal one. So there are some of the different things you can go ahead and play with. Cause the whole thing about um, these editing software, you have to go in and play with it and build confidence around you using it. So that's how you're gonna have to navigate through it. And what else could we add in this one? So you could also, for example, if you come to the end of this one, all you have to do, you can add maybe an outro or anything that you wanna put at the end of it. Um, so I'll go back into man again, and I already have, like I said, lots more stuff here I could add here. So I could put maybe, for example, if it's a video, you can even add something else like uh, maybe comment. So I would have comments here. So I can reposition this somewhere here. And um, I already have a tank subscribe at the front. Yeah, so we have that one. And just in case, you want to just end it. Let's say you come to the end of your video, obviously. Then all you'd have to do is to do a transition. Use the pixelate one. Add it there. And then you can add your outro at the end of it, just in case you may have an outro. So all you'd have to do is just drag and drop your outro. For example, mine here. I would bring the cursor to the end. And bring it down. I see how it plays. And that's how it would plays for your outro as well. Make sure you lock everything and the line here on the canvas. So you go ahead and lock it with all these locks here. Because a lot of times after you finish making a video, sometimes something may shift out of place. Say for example, if you were to position certain thing at a certain place, it may shift. And you don't want that to happen to you. So you don't want to get up after you render your video, you see that something's out of place. So that's one thing you want to avoid doing. And just in case, one more thing I didn't show you guys. So just in case you want to maybe cut or split. So this one you can split it with this um, split um, bar here. So you can go ahead and split this text into two. So that's one thing you can do here. In terms of cutting, let's say something you want to edit something out of um, this video here. You can go ahead, drag this forward or backward. You can just go ahead like this, drag it like that. And let's say you want to just remove that piece. You just go ahead and use the scissors and you cut this bit and that's it. And that's how you just go ahead and cut out pieces of maybe um, um, whatever you want to cut out, or it could be this long space, nothing is mentioned, or whatever that is, or you just want to edit down a size to a certain size, and you can go ahead and do that like that. So that's one way you can do it. So like I said, this is a quick video to show you guys um, the use of Camtasia 9. And like I said, please like and share and subscribe to my main channel. And after you complete doing your video, all you have to do is go to the far right where you have share, and you just go ahead and click and share, and then you can go ahead and name your video, whatever you want to name the video. And then you can choose the side already. We choose the side already, which is 1020p. And then you can reselect it again. And then you put the name of the file that you want to save it as. And that's pretty much it for you guys. And then you can go ahead and upload it to either your YouTube channel or if you want to do your Facebook or you want to do it on um, Instagram or if you just do another project for work or school, that's it for you. So thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Thanks.